Hello crafting, in this video we'll be making a V-strap gillet turban. If you're new here, you're early welcome. I am Ibiwari. Click on the subscribe button and join the crafting. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Let's get crafting. So for today's project, we'll be needing some items. As usual, all items used will be in the description box below. We'll be needing our gilet fabric, we'll be needing our machine thread, our scissors, and a velcro tape. The velcro tape is that um, tape that opens up and can stick to itself. So for our measurements for this uh, turban, we'll be working with 30 inches length and 16 inches width 30 inches length 16 inches width that's the measurement we'll be working with feel free to experiment with other measurements so to get started we'll fold i'll fold the both edges that is the width end fold the both edges I'm done folded, folding the edges in on the both sides. So we'll just take um four inches measurement. We'll take a measurement of four inches and fold up. Take a measurement of four inches and fold up. That is now your the measurement is taken from the width area. So we'll hold down with our safety pin for now. We'll hold this down with our safety pin. We'll do the same for the both sides. We'll measure the other end to four inches and we fold up. Just hold it down with a safe a pin. So we'll get for the velcro tape. I'm using two. One is five inches in length and the other is three inches in length i'm using two just for extra uh strength so you can go ahead and use one or more than one if you prefer so now the velcro tape as a uh, is it sticks together but when placing it on your fabric one side has to be facing up while the other uh, side faces uh, the velcro tape downwards. So now to get this in that kind of position, one of your velcro tape will be on the good side of your fabric, while the other uh, machine part of your velcro tape will be on the wrong side of your fabric. So just watch how it, uh, I'm placing it. One will be on the good side of your fabric, while the other one will be on the wrong side of your fabric. So when you close it, it laps. So I'll be doing the same for that of the three inches also. So now for my gilly fabric, this is the good side. I've turned uh, one edge of it to the good side. And I'll just measure my 5 inches length. Or you can go ahead and just place your velcro tape because already we know it's 5 inches in length. So just place it on that good side of the fabric. Remember, I turned one side of the, the end of the fabric to the good side and placed the velcro tape on it. So I'll just use my safety, uh, my pin now. I don't know why I keep saying safety pin. 
I'm just using my pin now to hold it down in place before I'll sew with my sewing machine. If you're very good with hand sewing, you can go ahead and sew with your hand, but I'd rather prefer using my sewing machine to sew it. So I'll just hold it down in place with my pin. This is for my 5 inches length. So I'll do the same for the 3 inches length. Just hold it down in place. I'm keeping them next to each other. I'm keeping it next to each other. The 5 inches and the 3 inches. Keeping it next to each other. So when I, I take it to my sewing machine, I'll just sew the way it's placed next to its uh, next to each other. So I'm done with this um, velcro tape that is on the good side of my fabric. So now the other one, the machine one of the velcro tape. I'll take it to the other side of the fabric and now for this other side I'm placing it on the wrong side of the fabric now it's on the wrong side of this is on the good side of the fabric while this other one I'll be placing it on the wrong side of the fabric so I'm just going ahead to uh, test run it and see how it laps with each other So for this uh, side, I'll be placing it on the wrong side of the fabric. I'm placing it in that sun up area. In that sun up area, I didn't slant it V as I did on this other, um, the one I placed on the good side. I'm placing it like um, on the same, the turn up line. I'm placing it on the turn up line as opposed to this other one i place slants in a slanted way this one i'm placing it straight on like on a straight plane on the turn up fabric but mind you it's on the wrong side of the fabric i didn't turn over to the good side to place it on it so i place it on the wrong side but on the straight plane So I'm just closing it to see the the shape I will get. Now I'll go ahead and sew it. I've placed it with my pin in place. So I'll go ahead and sew it. I'll go ahead and sew it down with my sewing machine. Now for this one. I don't want the sewing to be on the outside because it's what will be showing outward. So I will be sewing it on this turn up. Now I'll be sewing it on this turn up. I will open the the, uh, the take out the safety pin, sew it on this turn up before I'll close that end. So looking at it from the outside, you're not seeing the you will not see any stitches outward. You know, see any stitches, so I will sew it on this turn up. Then, but the other one on the good side, I will sew it just the way it is because this other side will overlap it, and you not see any stitches. So I'm done sewing. I'm done sewing it. I'm done sewing it, so you can see how it laps beautifully, and you're not seeing any stitching on this other end that will be that the eyes will see when you put you put on your turban so here comes the part will form our turban we are done putting our velcro tape let's form our turban so from this end you're seeing where the stitch is that i 
uh, stitch down my velcro tip from that five inches uh, mark i will start sewing i'll sew then when it comes to this upside i move my hand up close to the edge and sew then come down again towards this other end and towards the velcro on the other side so just see how i'll be stitching it from that um velcro from the five inches length velcro tape i will start sewing making a running stitches upwards and when i get to the top i will make my running stitches close to the edge i'll make my running stitches close to the edge this will give your turban allowance so even if you have a hairdo it can contain it so i'll take it up close to the edge then maintain my stitching close to the edge all through this upper part so if you've watched up till this point and you've not subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for click that subscribe button now and join the craft team for more headwear tutorials fashion accessory diys millinery tips and lots more to come and my target is to hit 500 subscribers before july runs out why not help me achieve my target i'm already moving close to 200 200 subscribers so please click on that subscribe button and make me hit my target of 500 or more before july runs out So now I'm still so uh, making my running stitches close to the edge because I'm still on this upper part. But at this point, I'll gradually move downwards. I'll gradually move downwards towards uh, the Velcro on this other side. So I'm just checking is my turban is forming already. It's forming already. I can see it. Don't mind me, I'm always excited when I'm making a new headwear. So towards uh, this other velcro tape, we'll start moving down. Start moving downwards. Start moving downwards with our running stitches. So if you try out this uh, gillette turban and you like it, you can connect with us on Facebook and Instagram at Ibis Fine Crafties. Let's share in your design. Let's see and let others see too. So now I'm moving downwards towards the other Velcro, Velcro tape. This method is quick and easy. It's quick and easy. You can easily make your turban and dash out for that event and slay at that event. You know, on this channel, we are all about the slaying. Slay your fashion. Slay your headwear. Slay everything slayable. Don't forget to give up, give us thumbs up if you like this video. If you've learned something new from this video, give it a like. Share so that others too will benefit the way you did. And spread the word. So our turban is coming out looking like a turban already. It's looking beautiful already and I love this gilly fabric and one secret let me let you in is a recycled gilly fabric so don't let your old gilly go to waste make good use of them it's a recycled gilly fabric and is my grandma's own yes
my grandma's killing fabric so i'm upcycling it to something fashionable beautiful stunning elegant and i'm ready to slay it so you can make good use of your gilly fabric your old gilly fabric so our turban is ready once we are done with our running stitch you just t uh, tack it down in place so you get all you gather it and make your stitch then that's all for it our turban is out already so i'm just closing with my velcro to see how it is and it looks beautiful already so i'm done i'll stitch down then the ss fabric that will be inside i'll just go ahead and use uh scissors to cut it off so but before i do that i have to stitch down my running stitch so it doesn't go lo uh, losing out on me so i'll just stitch it down in place you gather it the way you want and when you're satisfied with uh how you formed your gathers after making your running stitch you stitch it down in place before you cut off your s's so i'll just make my final knot and cut it off So my SS um, fabric, I'll just go ahead and trim it off with um, scissors so it will make my turban look bulky. I'll just go ahead and cut it off. So if you try this turban, let's, let us know and I would like to know in the comment section what other details you like to put on this turban because in our next video you see what we did with the detail we did on this turban but i'd like to know your own thoughts if you make those uh, if you're the one that made this turban or if you do make this turban what detail will you add to this turban like leave it in the comment section so this other part i'll do, you can leave some uh trim off some and use the other one to stitch and cover and the uh, gathers underneath your turban but if you don't even have to because it's not even you're not seeing any stitches but if you want you can go ahead and use some part of the ss to tack inside and cover any stitching if it's showing but mine did not show so we are almost done with our b strap turban gilly our uh, gilly saban is looking beautiful so let us know in the comment section what detail you want to add to your own turban then in our next video you see what we did with this turban so if you've not subscribed click on that subscribe button now is the right time to click on that subscribe button so you get notified when our next video drops look at the back of this turban tell me it's not looking beautiful so go ahead and try like i always say just be creative till meet in our next video take care and bye